Hey everybody, how's it going? All right, I got another cologne on review for y'all today. And today is going to be on Marc Jacobs' Bang. Now just admire the bottle. Props to Marc Jacobs. This is a cool bottle. I love it. The only problem is uh, be careful on this one because like on the sides here, uh, it's like razor sharp on mine and I cut my <laughs> I cut my finger like seven times without even knowing it, just holding it and spraying it and I start putting on my sock and I just kind of feel a little sticky and I look and my finger's bleeding. There's like seven cuts on there. It's like, whoa. And one was pretty pretty deep. It made it start to bleed pretty good and it was like, wow. So be careful with that. Other than that, cool bottle. But yeah. Anyway, and here is the box for it, and a pretty cool box also. Don't mind my fingerprints. I've tried to clean it, but it doesn't. Oh, well, it makes me mad. But anyway, this looks great on your cabinet. It's awesome. It looks good in the collection. Anyway, they have two sizes, a 1.7 and a 3.4 ounce. We'll be running you around 55 for the smaller to 75 for the big one, but hey. That's what fragrance nets for, right? Yeah. They give it about a dollar off, but if you wait till it gets 15% off, oh yeah. Anyway, we have top notes of black, pink, and white peppercorns, middle notes of primal masculine woods. It's cedar. <laughs> Mark Jacobs just thought, now what the heck can we call besides cedar? Because cedar's just... Too boring, this can't work. Everybody has cedar primal masculine woods. Genius. Base notes of hypnotic LME, LME resinud. It's a Filipino tree sap. They said it's spicy, citric y kind of. And aromatic benzoin, vetiver, white moss, and patchouli. I've been watching people's reviews on this, and they're saying like they can't get the cedar and they can't get the vetiver, and I was like, really? Because when I first spray this on, what I get is of course pepper, 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 and pepper, but I also get this wet cedar. I'm guessing from the cedar mixing with the moss, and it creates this smell of because like when I after a rain in the woods. I had a lot of cedar trees in my woods, and when there was, it was still damp. There was steam and mist flowing through because we were like 500 feet up, and uh, so this you got this wet cedar smell, almost. Or, or if you like had a freshly built house that was made of cedar, and you just get this, it's almost a sweet. Uh, it's almost it's semi sweet. Oh, cedar is just, I love cedar. Anyway, and I get a little bit of a earthy tone from the vetiver, but it's very faint mixing with the patchouli. It's those two fragrances, the uh, scents are very faint, but I can get them. But uh, that's on my skin. Anyway, this is a linear scent. It doesn't really change up much after about. Uh, four hours, you might get a little more of the the pepper kind of turns down. You get a little more of the moth of the wet cedar, and I get a little bit of a little more sweet, maybe from the benzoin. I'm not sure, but this is also a stealth fragrance. You will not your nose will adapt to this, and it'll be gone to you in about an hour or two, and then it'll just periodically pop up every once in a while really bang up because I mean it surprised me I was just sitting there and all of a sudden I just got like I just sprayed my face with it and it's like whoa where did that come from so and people will be able to smell this on you afterwards and so I know it's not whoa I know it's not you sorry trying to move the computer and I moved everything but uh but yeah, so I love this stuff. It is very distinct. 
and uh, very different, so I like it. Projection on this stuff is about, I'll give it about a 7, because it, it projects fairly well off of you, but it dials back pretty close, but it will leave a trail. So I give it about a 7. It's no projection monster, but it does project. Uh, scent life, I give it about a 7, again. It lasts in between 6 to 8 hours, because I've had people comp compliment me. Compliment me six to eight hours after I put it on, so it's okay. You just, I just can't smell it on myself. So, age any age I could see wearing this really, you might get the tar kicked out of you in high school, but you know, it's better than wearing X. Dad, I know you're watching. And I know you wear axe. My dad wears axe. Can you believe me? a 50 plus year old man wearing axe? You just, oh God. Yeah. Anyway, so any age can wear this up to dad's age. And uh, <laughs> I got a, I just got a jab. But yeah, so any age can wear this. Uh, compliments. You will get complimented on this. I have had women just come up and go, ooh, you smell good. So it does get the compliments. And chicks just love it. So. Anyway, let's see here. Where to wear this stuff. Or seasons to wear. Fall and winter mostly. I have been wearing it in early spring because it was like 61 out yesterday and I was doing just fine with this stuff. So, yeah. How to apply. I usually, now I'll concentrate it with two shots to my chest and two shots uh, to my neck. And that usually sets me pretty, sets me up pretty good. Anyway, and da, 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 when to wear, you know, c casual wear, out with friends, dinking around. Uh, you might be taking a chance wearing this to work because some people don't like pepper. You could use this as a date fragrance because it is hot, it is pr primal. And, uh, <laughs> jab again. Uh... But yeah, you could definitely pull this off as a date fragrance. You just got to make sure she doesn't not like pepper, because then you're then you're sol, dude. But yeah, why would you not like this? Well, duh. If you don't like pepper, you're not gonna like this. It is a linear scent. It won't change up. And if you like smelling it on you, you might not be able to smell it on you. So uh, versatility. It's pretty versatile. I can I've been wearing it about every day for the past week, so you can tell I like it. And I really had no problems with it. Oh my god, it's snowing. I oh, I want to die. <laughs> anyway, buy, try or pass with this stuff. I say if you're a fraghead, this is a definite buy even if you don't like it. I mean, you can trade it off here in people's on a the swap thread for somebody will surely swap it for you. That and it just looks cool in your collection. But yeah, so I love this. Women love this. So that's a double thumbs up from from me. So check this stuff out, guys. This is and women too. Women can definitely pull this off. As uh, like Teresa said, she has worn this, so it's great. Check it out. Alrighty. Auf Wiedersehen, meine Freunde.